Thanks for stopping by. This is Free On Board, a podcast by Tridge. You're in the right place if you're looking to stay up to date with the latest food and agricultural news. Now, on to the updates. On Agri Headlines today, we're bringing you the latest agricultural updates of Week 11, 2022. We're bringing headlines from five agricultural categories. The grain, oil and fat, fruits and vegetables, value-added fruits and vegetables, and the meat market. As you've seen on headlines, the grain industry is struggling. Most recently, Russian Prime Minister Mikhail Mistushtin signed an order banning the export of white and raw sugar until August 31st and banned wheat, rye, barley, and maize exports to neighboring Eurasian Economic Union states until June 30th. Deputy Prime Minister Victoria Abranchenko, however, said that the export of grain within the quota under individual licenses would continue to be allowed. Wheat and corn futures are continuing to skyrocket, rising 37.36% over the last month, reaching historic heights. This comes as Ukraine and Russia together have been responsible for 29% of all global wheat exports. Ukraine alone is responsible for 17% of all corn exports. As of now, Ukraine and Russia have exported 70% of their export capacity, with 30% on hold. Large importers of Ukrainian and Russian wheat, such as countries in North Africa, Bangladesh, Pakistan, and Indonesia, may have to switch to other suppliers of grain. The reopening of food service industries is contributing to the heightened demand of edible oils. Palm oil futures remain near record highs as traders seek alternatives to sunflower oil. Palm oil prices in India increased by 38% since Indonesia's decision to curb exports to calm local prices. Despite the 2021 to 2022 crop being the second largest crop on record, soybean volumes in all its variations are facing 5 million metric tons short of consumption estimates. Soybean prices in the U.S. could remain near $17 per bushel. If you want to learn more about rising soybean prices in the U.S., check out our Trish analysis. Our third category is in fruits and vegetables. The Chilean blueberry season has not achieved its initial growth predictions. So far, there has been a 7% decrease in fresh blueberry exports and a 24.1% decrease in frozen blueberry exports. Peruvian avocados, on the other hand, have demonstrated significant growth during recent years. In 2022, Peruvian avocado exports are expected to reach a volume of over 600,000 metric tons, which is a 14.3% increase from 2021 exports. This growth is partly attributed to the opening of new markets like South Korea. Egyptian orange production levels are forecast to drop by 16%, with exports dropping by 13.2%. In the value-added fruits and vegetables market, the South African government is considering applying the health promotion levy, also known as the sugar tax, to 100% fruit juice. The levy applied to beverages with over 4 grams of sugar content per 100 milliliters will be increased from 2.21 cents per gram to 2.31 cents per gram from April 1, 2022. This implementation could raise fruit juice prices in the country, decrease profit margins for fruit juice processors, and ultimately lower fruit juice production in South Africa. Leading global food leaders such as Kraft Heinz Co. and ConAgra have committed to raising the prices of products to counter rising raw materials and transportation costs. Kraft Heinz plans to raise prices by over 10% in Q1 and Q2 of 2022. Lastly, in the meat market, given that Russia occupies 28% of all Colombian beef export shares, Beef exports in Colombia are set to face challenges with the Russian currency depreciation, sanctions, and suspended logistics operations. That is all for Week 11's Agri Headlines. For more updates, visit www.trish.com intelligence. <laughs>